Hey, it's Ned here from Coda and today we're in the workshop and we're going to talk through five really simple steps that you can do to make your kite last longer. It's going to last longer, it's going to be worth more when you sell it and it's critically not going to fail when you're out on the water. Check these out. First one, this is the simplest one, and this can be either done at the start of the session or the end of a session, is pump your kite up, have a good look over it, and see if there's any damage on the kite. The most common areas for wear are on the leading edge, either in the middle or about three quarters of the way along the leading edge, which are the bits that rub on the sand if you self-launch or if you crash the kite on the beach. The other thing you need to look at is the canopy itself. The easiest way to do this is to get a nice sunny day, face the kite into the sun and get underneath the canopy. Looking up, it's illuminated from the back and you can see any damage, any pinholes, any rips. If you do notice anything, if it's a small enough repair, most kites come with a repair, a repair pack in the bag. So there's a few repair bits there that you can use to self-repair or if it's a more serious job, then consult a repair professional who'll be able to sort it out for you. Second thing to inspect, so leading on from the first thing, you've got your kite pumped up, you're having a look over it, check the valves. The valves and the one pump system, these are real fragile elements that often get abused when the kite's being squashed or when it's being packed away. Make sure those valves aren't, haven't got any play on them, there's no cracking at the base of them, and the same with the tubes. Over a period of time those tubes will start to degrade, so keep an eye on them, make sure there's no cracking or no whiting on those tubes, and they can easily be replaced and swapped out. Number four, the bridles and the pulleys. These are a really critical area because this is where you attach to your kite. Checking these areas regularly, checking the pigtails aren't damaged and that they're good and strong and there's no wear, and also checking the pulleys and making sure they slide nicely along the bridles. These are two really high wear areas and maintaining and checking them regularly will prevent them from failing. Most of these parts can be swapped out, so if there is damage, you can change the pigtails and you can also replace the, replace the pulleys to make them last longer. Number five, this is going to help your canopy of the kite last much, much longer. Looking after your canopy will make your kite last longer, fly nicer and look much better. So don't leave your kite pumped up in the wind and in the sun because the flapping of the canopy will degrade the canopy, it will take the coating off the canopy and the kite won't last as long and won't fly as well. The other thing is when you're packing the kite away, make sure there's no sand or no water in the canopy because when you roll that up, the sand is going to rub on the canopy and it will eventually wear little holes and wear the coating off the canopy. So packing your kite away clean and dry or taking it home and drying it out as soon as you can is going to be really important to help your kite last much longer. Really short video today, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something and hope you can maintain your kite and make it last a little bit longer. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments section below or if you have any issues that you need sorting, get in touch and we'll be able to help you with the, with the repair process. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.